and I just said, let me just finish up this topic. Then we can move on. Let's just raise our hands in prayer. This is the day that the Lord has made. And surely you and I are going to be glad and rejoice in it. Father, we thank you for this special day, this special morning. Father, we thank you, Lord, for you daily, Lord, with us with blessings. The Lord of our salvation, we thank you for sustenance. We thank you for vitality in our mortal bodies. For we know the same spirit that raised Christ in from the dead is also vitalizing our mortal bodies. Father, we thank you for now are we the children of God, partakers and participators of your divine nature. Father, thank you that the Lord will load us with blessing every day. Father, thank you for the blessings of this day, for the favors of this day, for the open doors which are lined up for us. Thank you for the health. Thank you, Lord, for provision in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, we give you honor, we give you praise for what you did for us on the cross of Calvary. Thank you for the blood of Jesus, which was shed for us, O oh God. Father, thank you, Lord Jesus, for the crucifixion, for he was crucified for us, so that now we have been translated from darkness to now light. So that now we are heirs unto your promises, we say thank you. Now we are kings and priests unto our God. We say thank you. We are part of the common hold of God. We say thank you. Though we went early to the kingdom, now we are part of the common hold of God. In Jesus' name, amen. Oh, good morning, saints. What an exciting morning. The joy of the Lord is our strength. The Bible tells us righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. That's the kingdom of God. May joy flood your soul this morning. In Jesus' name. We are still talking about managing our finances. Even before I go to investment, I just want to encourage somebody that it is important for us to make sure we're talking about budgeting. Let me just go back a bit last week. We have to put our houses in order. We have to make sure that we sit up where we need to improve. We have to make sure that work on our budget, we put our budget down so that we see what we earn, we see what we don't have, we see areas we need to work hard on so that we can we can improve. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So when God sent us in this areas of finances, on this earth, what did he give us? He made us stewards. I think we've understood from what we've taught each other. We are just stewards of God's resources. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. We are stewards. Stewards are given something to look after, then they surrender. The Bible tells us if naked we came in this world and naked we return. But while we are here, we still need to be good stewards of the resources God has given us. And I always say, if we are not careful with our money, money can punish us because money is a is something which you used to exchange in this world. Hallelujah. There are things which I want just to emphasize, you know, concerning budgeting. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Which I want to emphasize in our life. Number one, learn to live within your means. Hallelujah. We, you know, we read the scripture in the book of Matthew that would anyone decide to start to build a city and not sit down so that they can count their cost. When they count their cost, they will know what to do. Pastor can assist me with the scripture. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. If anyone wants to build a city, they have to sit down. When they sit down, they have to consider the cost so that when they start to build, they may not fail. They may not fail. And people will say, oh, uh, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know, build a tower. You know, just not sit down. First and count the cost. You know, whether he is uh, enough to finish. And it also talks about soldier. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Then says, after yet laid a foundation that is not able to, to, to finish it and to see it begin um, to, to see and, and all who see who begin to mop. It also talks about <coughs> um, somebody going for war. That's you know, a soldier who is a leader of an army. Before they go to war, they, they sit down and they consider if they've got enough soldiers. But if they saw that you know, their army is much less equipped by, than the army of the opposition, they will go send people to the opposition, to the opposition, I mean, army, so that they can have peace. 
What am I saying? This is the basis of the points I'm going to tell you this morning. Hallelujah. Before we go to investments and whatever we are going to be talking about. Number one, learn to live within by your means. Buy wisely. Live within your means. Godliness with contentment is great gain. The Bible tells us that godliness is with contentment is great gain. Live within your means. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Also, we have to learn to make sure that before we spend, we don't just be controlled finances which we are not working for. You know, we have to strive to be self-supporting. I encouraging my sisters be self-supporting. My brothers be self-supporting. If you can, life sometimes happens. You can no longer work. But if you still in the power of your hands, your hands are not weak. Your mind is, is, is strong. You can walk around. You can still do things. You have to strive to make sure that you live so you work with your own hands. So it is important. I just want to encourage us that strive to be self-supporting. The Bible tells us God blesses the work of our hands. Deuteronomy tells us, you know, you know, you know, it is God who gives us power to get wealth. Power, not wealth, ability to get wealth. So be strive that we work. I want to challenge you. If you're a husband, if you're a wife, if you're a father, if you're a mother, make sure you learn to work. If you have, you know, you know, Apostle Paul said, you know, talked in you know, one scripture that, you know, we have to learn to work with our own heads. Hallelujah. We have to work, live a quiet life. If I can have that scripture, Pastor, that we can must live a quiet love, life working with our own hands. Hallelujah. Let me just say this. Don't just wait for your husband to come to budget your, the, your husband's money and you are not working. You are just frustrated as a woman. Make sure you've got something you are doing with your hands. Eh? That you also have power to lead a quiet life to mind your own business and to work with your own hands as we have commanded you. Thank you, men of God. Your, 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 your husband can be the president, can be an owner of this company, can be getting billions, you know, in, in your account. But you as a woman, you have to learn to work as well so that even those monies, you can know how to manage them. You have to learn to work with your own hands. You have to, you have, you know, you have, to make sure that you acquire resources so that you lead a dignified life. A dignified life. We are an example to those who don't believe. The Bible tells us if you're a believer and you can supply to your own family, you know, give me that scripture, Pastor, you are worse than an unbeliever. What am I saying this morning? It is important as a believer that I strive to supply myself, even pastors. Hallelujah. I encourage pastors to work. My example and my encouragement is Apostle Paul, the one who said, you know, he used to make tents and, you know, in, but he said he prayed in the spirit more. I pray in the spirit more than you all. You know, hallelujah. He says, but if you does not provide for your own house, especially for those in his household, he is denied the faith and worse than an unbeliever. Hallelujah. So strive to be self-sustaining them. You know, Apostle Paul, you know, you know, he was a tent maker. The word tells us he's the one who used to pray in tongues. He had missionary journeys, but he also had time so that he could make tents for himself. He was studious. What am I saying? I'm speaking to my four pastors, to the pastor's wife, to the deacon's wife, wherever ministry are from. You end up being bitter with people because they are waiting for coming for people to come and bless you, and they are doing nothing. I want to encourage us where we can. Yes, there are people with a lot of workload in their hands. They cannot do any other things, but what they are doing, even in the house of God, is supplying enough for them. So that's a different issue, but we are still starting. The ministry is not yet well established. It is also important to make sure that you become industrious eh, so that you can also give to God, so that also you can be a blessing. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Learn to work eh, so that you can live a dignified life after praying as an intercessor, as a prophet. Learn to work eh, so that we can live dignified life eh, in our families. Hallelujah. The principle of work is from God. The Bible tells us a man reaps what he sows. So what you sow, you're going to reap. Don't expect a harvest without sowing. The Bible tells us in the book of Genesis that while the earth remained, seed 
time and harvest will never cease. So we have to sow so that we can have something to God to bless on, to pour his blessing on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Find ways of educating your family about finances, not just spending. Let them know that we spend and we've got limited resources. Hallelujah. The Bible says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Those children mustn't just be given things because they've just thrown a tantrum. They've rolled on the floor. I always say, people can cry. It's okay, but they'll be quiet. They must know that resources are, um, are, are, are limited. They must know that money doesn't stay at the ATM. It is worked for. So teach your children. Teach your spouse. Teach people around you that there are times where we know that we've got limited resources and it will be good for your budget and for your finances. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Get rid of debt, especially unnecessary debt. Hallelujah. And stay out of it, which is unnecessary debt, you know, and never make debt an emergency fund. You know, get rid of unnecessary debt, which doesn't promote your investment, which doesn't promote, you know, your asset values, which doesn't, your, your, uh, your asset fallout. You know, get rid of it. You know, God is faithful. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Make sure you save for bad days, not really bad. Maybe work might be withdrawn from you. Maybe business might not be going on well. That's why they asked to talk about investment. Make sure you've got somewhere you will go. You know, you will go and make sure you get. And also make sure we always say with long life will you satisfy us. But when you're old, when you have your strength is now failing, when in retirement, what is your retirement plan? I always talk to the women who I lead in the women's ministry. I always say to them, you know, we are staying here. What's going to be with us 30 years, 40 years to come? If you are 20, what's going to happen in the next 40 years in your life? In your 40, after 40 years, 50 years, or 10 years to come? Hallelujah. Are you investing in your retirement? When you are no longer working, just enjoying the Lord, you still need supply. What are you doing about it? Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Be a wise parent. Pass something on to your children. Don't squander everything in your lifetime. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So it is wisdom. It is necessary for us as people so that we use proper budgeting. It is necessary for us that we budget properly. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. And after budgeting, we also need to invest and save for our future. Oh, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, Apostle Jay, it's easier said than done. But we say it. As we say it, you know, we are, we are going to be awakened in the inner man and we give things priority. I always say there are things which we have to pray for and cry for, like souls. There are things when we use, when we use wisdom, Hallelujah. God is faithful. The people in the world can be wiser than us. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. So when you're talk, talking, you know, vain days will come. I want us to go to Matthew chapter 6, verse 19 to 20. Matthew chapter 6, verse 19 to 20. The Bible says, do not lay up yourself treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. Hallelujah. But lay down yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust, where neither thieves do break in and steal. Thank you, men of God. What am I saying this morning? I'm saying rainy days will come. Rottenness might come in investment. Shares might fail. The currents might go down. St people can steal whatever belongs to you. But what do you do? Number one, before rainy day comes, Make sure you're investing in the heavenly account. Give to God. Give to his cause. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So that when things are not happening well, you've got an account for you to grow in the heavenly places. Hallelujah. Be a good steward. It will help you even in this life and in the life to come. Hallelujah. Let's go to 1 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 2. So when I'm giving today, I'm giving it as my, as my, as my security. First Corinthians chapter 4, verse 2 says, Moreover, it is requested in stewardship that one be found faithful. Thank you. So be a good steward. Be a good steward. Make sure as we earn, as we get resources, we give to God. 
as we earn, as we go through those things, we, as, I mean, we invest in the kingdom. Oh, glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's go to the word of God. Proverbs chapter 6, verse 6 to 9. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider the ways and be wise. Hallelujah. Which having no captain, overseer, or a runner. I think you've heard this from me enough this week. Provide a supplies in summer and gather your food in the harvest. Hallelujah. How long will you slumber or sluggard when you rise from your sleep? Thank you, Pastor. Hallelujah. What am I saying? We have to make sure that whatever we do, prepare for rain day. When the bonus come, don't show all of it. When the English come, when the deal is sealed, let's not finish all of it. Let us leave room for God to bless us. Let us, um, I mean, let us leave room for savings. Let's spare. Let's put something aside in case one day we can't do what we used to do. We have got somewhere to start. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 28. Verse 26, glory to Jesus. It says, he who trusts in his own heart is a fool, but who, whosoever walks wisely will be delivered. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus. We mustn't trust in our own selves. So when we get any resource, when God give us something, we have to invest in the eternal bank, which is heaven. How do we do it? By giving to the cause of the gospel. By giving in the kingdom. When we do that, God will open doors which we don't know. Hallelujah. God will do mighty things for us. So we'll rather trust God. Let's trust God with what he gives us. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 11, verse 28. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 28. Our heavenly giving it. He who trusts in his riches will fall, but the righteous will flourish like foliage. Hallelujah. Thank you. The righteous who flourish like leaves. How would we trust in the Lord? By making sure that as we receive things, we give to God. As we receive things, we invest in God. As we receive things, we send investment to, you know, in the kingdom. Those investment will assist us when things are not well. Oh, glory to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. God wants us to invest in the kingdom as well. So that will be secure in rainy days. Let's go to Mark chapter 10, verse 24. Mark chapter 10, verse 24. Glory to Jesus. And the disciples were astonished at his word. But Jesus answered again and said to them, Children, how hard is it for those who trust in riches to enter in the kingdom of God? What am I saying this morning? Thank you. We are not trusting in riches. Being rich is not a problem or having resources, but trusting in them and not giving to God. So when God gives us resources, remember to invest in the, in the kingdom. It's good for your finances. The church doesn't want to rob you. Hallelujah. You know, it's good for your next level. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I can emphasize and emphasize and emphasize. First Timothy chapter 6 verse 17. First Timothy chapter 6 verse 17. Command those who are rich in this present age, not to be naughty, nor to trust in uncertain riches, but in the living God. Uncertain riches, but in the living God, who gives us richly, who gives us richly all things to enjoy. Thank you. Who gives us richly all things to enjoy. So when God gives you resources, what I think is God gives us so that we can rejoice and so that we can continue to love him better. God doesn't give us jobs, opportunities, resources so that we can turn back on him. God give us resources so that one we enjoy. The Bible says he desires that our life, we, 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 we can have life and have life in its full. But we mustn't forgot the source of our riches. We have to go back to God and say thank you. We have to go back to God and say thank you. You know, remember those lepers, Jesus said, I healed ten but, um, you know, where are the nine? You know, what am I saying this morning? You know, we have to go back to God and be thankful. And as we are thankful, God will always increase us. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Hallelujah. 
Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not on your understanding. Next scripture. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. The verse 6. In all your ways acknowledge him and you shall direct your path. Acknowledge him. Thank you. Acknowledge him. I'm still talking. I'm building my, my, my way towards investment. Trust in the Lord. Acknowledge him with your finances. Say thank you. Say thank you. He will direct your path. You need the next level for those finances. You need the next level for that job. You need the next level for that open door. Go to God. Lay your seat down in Jesus' name. Job chapter 13, verse 15. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Job, you know, though he slay me, yet I'll trust him. Even so, I would defend my own way before him. Though he slay me, yet I will trust him. Even so, I will defend my own way before him. Hallelujah. Thank you, man of God. How do we defend your own way before God? Hallelujah. God is a good God. God is a wonderful God. God is a God who loves us. But as we sow seed, as we lay seed before him, before him, to him, God is faithful. He will defend you when opposition comes your way. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So it is important for us before we talk about investing in any other way of investment that we look unto God. We trust in God. We know that whatever we do, we are doing it for the kingdom. We are doing it for his house. Oh, hallelujah, glory to Jesus, glory to Jesus. It is important for us that when rainy days come, we are invited, we have invested in ourselves, we have invested for, I mean, we have invested for ourselves, but we have also in, in God, we have invested for ourselves in God, let me say it that way. Then also, we have got other service, saving, which we might have worked on. Hallelujah, glory to Jesus, hallelujah. Why must we have savings? Why must we have investments? So that when things are not working in that season, we have God where to run to. Hallelujah. Remember Joseph when he had the strategy for where he was in charge. You know, he kept, they kept food which they used during the time of famine, but wisdom. So as we go in life, God wants us to serve, to take care of our resources, not just to squander them, all of them. Glory to Jesus, hallelujah, glory to Jesus, not just to squander and use up, you know, you know, all we have. The other question, just before I go, hallelujah, because of our time, where should we invest? I said, now, the first thing we have to invest is to invest in God. Hallelujah, we should invest in God before we use any other invest, investment. I'm going to, re to read, let's just go to, 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 let's go to Matthew chapter 16. Verse, uh, no, 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 let's not go to Matthew chapter 6, verse 19 and 20. Matthew chapter 6, verse 19 and 20. It says, do not lay up treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and thieves break in and steal. Glory to Jesus, hallelujah. But lay up for yourself treasures in heaven where neither moth can destroy or a thief can break in. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. So today, what I was emphasizing that when we invest, the kingdom of God must be a priority. When we invest, the kingdom of God must be a priority. We have to prioritize the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Let's go to Luke chapter 12, verse 21. Luke chapter 12, verse 21. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So is he who lays up treasures for himself and is not rich towards God. That is not our portion. We are not going to lay treasures for ourselves and we are not rich towards God. As we live, we want to say, Lord, any other term forms of investment which we can, could have, retirement investment, I knew it. There's a lot of investment, property investment. I will just give you a brief of that tomorrow. We must know the first investment we must have is to invest in God. Thank you for listening to me this morning. Have a wonderful Monday. Hallelujah. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for those under the sound of my voice. Yes, Lord, thank you for prudence. Thank you for wisdom. Thank you for ability for us to move forward even in our finances. Father, thank you, Lord, for we are being wiser by the, than the children of darkness because of who you have made us in Christ Jesus. 
We have the wisdom of God. Father, thank you for wisdom among my brothers, Lord, so that we can put our house in order where we need to in our finances, that we can pray for grace for more open doors, so that we can be use our hands for you to bless us. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I pray for open doors in our careers, open doors in our businesses, open doors in whatever God has called us to do in this earth, in Jesus' name. God bless you. Have a wonderful morning ahead. Jesus is Lord. Amen. Cause you want him money. Lion. He want him money. He want him money. Lion. He want him money. Yeah.